2020. So we thank God for this opportunity that we gather together as a family to celebrate our brother's uh, birthday, the Miracle Perspective, Miracle Matlorichawane. So before we start, before we go any further with the program of the night, I'll ask Conkers to open with a word of prayer. So we'd love to welcome all of you. So on my right, this is our dad, Dr. Ray. And far on my far right, they down there is our mother, Mam Fish. <laughs> <laughs> and the master of the ceremony is the firstborn in this house, righteous. And on the right again, Mrs. Amana. And next to Mrs. Amana is the miracle perspective of Mr. Patsy. Let's shout for and we really for Giving the drinks are unilating for the Mr. Party. The drinks are excited, they're celebrating Mr. Party. And then we've got, we've got the Dad, twins. Stop. That's what you were about Then we've got twins, Conquer and Conquer and Conquer. You can look at the camera and holler at the people. Right and Next to me on my left is my brother, my cousin brother, Tim Binkosi. And my uncle's son. So we are happy to be celebrating miracle. We are great we are very grateful for such a, a lovely man. He's the one. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot my nephew, my boy. Hey Jay! Yes, Jason, the very first grandchild in the fam. Yeah, we are still not used to him, but yeah, the mother reminded me, Jason, Amana, the dad is not here with us today. But anyway, shout out to Pastor Jeff. So we're grateful to be celebrating our brother's birthday. He's 26, guys. 26. What? 26. Well done. Yeah, 26. No kids. Did you hear that? 26, no kid, no baby. So, guys, you can imagine. I mean, people his age, they've got three, they've got two, they've got a ton of money. But God kept him. And uh, we don't want to prolong this program. We're going to make it very short because we danced a lot. So guys, I'm sure my brother will post some of the videos of the day. We have danced a lot today. So if I were to say two words about him, I would say that there are two things that I've learned from Miracle. He's such a hard worker. That's number one thing that I've learned from him. He's a hard worker, he's a hustler, and he's a go-getter. He gets, he's, a, he's that person who fights for what he wants and he gets it. So if it means, yesterday as we were coming back, he was saying he loves sleeping, but because He's got some. He wants to achieve. He doesn't sleep. So I love the fact that he knows what he wants and he fights to get whatever he wants. That's one thing that I've learned from him. And number two is that he is, is an inspiration to a lot of people out there. You know, he's an inspiration, and most people I, I look to I look up to him. I'm I'm old, but. Whatever that he says, it has so much power that you can learn something from him. So if you you out there, you haven't followed him, I would love to invite you to follow his channel and you learn a lot. But one thing I know for sure is that he got the wisdom from my father, Dr. Ray. This man on my right here. Mm. 
That's an intelligent man. Men, uh, men of wisdom. You know what the Bible says? King Solomon asked one thing from God. It was wisdom. The same wisdom that Solomon was operating in on that generation. I want to believe. I always think this is the same wisdom God has given to my dad. And most of the things that my brother does, he got it from my father. And I'm so happy that he has left a legacy. Uh, it's one thing that, you know, most fathers out there, they live their lives, but they never want them saving. There is nobody who represents them. There's nobody. Oh, that one looks like the father. But I love the way our dad has raised us into a way that everybody will look at us and be like, wow, your dad has raised you well. Your mother has raised you well. So we are very grateful also for my mother. She's such a strict, strict, strict human being and she has raised us well. If it was not for her, if she was so light, one thing I've learned about my mother is that she is uh, that woman who does not can be female side, side, oh, who does not protect her kids. Some mothers or some parents, where they fail is that when they call you at school and tell you that your kid, we see something, we see some some difference in your child, and you'll be like, not my child, not my child, but my mother is not like that. She never protects because she doesn't know. So if somebody tells her that we saw your child doing this, it disciplines us. And in that way, whether we did it or not, but we know that even if we didn't do it, it's wrong. I love the fact that she doesn't take sides. She is always straight. Having said all of that, we want to appreciate to our parents for raising this generation that everybody admires out there. We are so proud to be called your children, you know. We are what we are because of you. You have you have invested a lot, your money, your time, everything to make us the, the, the people we are today. So we thank you. And like I'm going to just take this moment in Nika Mama. Carlo will come back. You put an answer and go to work on the I said, I'm going to disappoint you. to win. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go there <laughs> I said, I'm a problem now. I said, I'm a man's. You think that you mark an away? You go on the English show, you go to the show. One and the rich quimbo, I should go to the kids. She quimbo, I should go phone, we are my training. You can go away, I born, I'm a good acre again, supporting the wing, you caca. A kind of a job away, I born, a young cock, a kaina. As cancer, away She quimble as 
Ambloko kuru kumisawa yuti kamisawa yijiki ni mara yuko fumela nuko tsemba eka shukwembo fumela kushukwembo shita kunika shusha right ibu tuunja we di maga kuna we uti dedicate na shukwembo utama ibu kwenye shukwembo akensa shukwembo ashukufuni shukwembo ashukukate kisi ni rehefi birthday happy 26 years. <laughs> and say something to him as well from, from on behalf of all of us. Okay, uh, greetings to everyone. Hi. So uh, I'm very proud today as well uh, to celebrate my the, the, uh, my brother's birthday together with him because it's what he's saying. Some, it's something which I never heard before. I never had time to celebrate his born day uh, with him together because we were growing up, we've been uh, apart for a very long time, we've been separated. There was a very big distance for us two to go up in a uh, sense whereby we can at least celebrate one of the birthdays or sort of events like that. But we used to meet when this special occasions but anyway I'm grateful because today we finally meet then together all of us so whereby we can all celebrate this one day and I'm very proud of him as well growing up so he's in, he's an inspiration to me because uh, I'm watching on his footsteps so I'm very proud on what he's just the step which he just took so I'm willing to adopt Oh, yeah. Okay, so I wish you the best of luck. Yes. So take care. Yeah. Beautiful speech. Thank you. You inspire all of us. That yeah. those were the words from all of us. The chawa, the man represented us. So now we're gonna get to the man of the house, Dr. Ray. Master of Ceremony, um, Mambish, uh, the First Lady. <laughs> and uh, to all my children and Mastermind, JJ Amana, uh, I greet you all in Jesus' name. Amen. It is my great pleasure uh, for this special occasion uh, to celebrate with you uh, for Miracle's birthday, celebrating to a man who actually maintained or is maintained the man who is maintaining his youth good. And I'm pleased about him, his life. Uh, I'm still hoping to see better things, better production, better future. I'm really looking forward to see him growing, becoming like a man who is consistent and content to his vision and goals. Um, if I will have time, I will say something about him, his childhood. He was uh, like a naughty young boy. I remember at some stage when I took him to a school uh, in Palabura. He used to be with white children, 
So they used to call me several times. The principal would call me and say, hey, your boy is naughty. Your boy is naughty. Your boy is naughty. And then one day I wanted to know what is he actually doing. They say he's always in a movement. He can't be yeah, he can't be in a one place, even if he's in a one in his own bench. He will move to one from one to another. And will always uh, disturb the other kids, making them laugh and disturb the teacher in class. So it's always like that. And one time I don't know where he got the snuff because he took a snuff and <laughs> he took it to the class <laughs> and then he gave it to a white <laughs> student, white, <laughs> white child. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> it was an offense, a serious case. Why did he get it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and they said, no, he deserves punishment. Yeah. Then I, you know, I'm... The one answer was the Where did he get it? Explain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, and then I am that kind of a, a leader who actually does not actually protect a child also, like the mother. So I said to the teachers and the principal, you must discipline him seriously. And then, oh, but on the other hand, I supported his no, naughty behavior. Because when he sometimes, he was actually always, uh, wherever he is, would be singing, would be dancing, and so on. And I used to shoot him uh, with a camera. I've got some many clips where he used to be naughty, and doing some funny things, then I, I, I could, yeah, I could capture his, yeah, yeah, every occasion that what he's doing, the moments, and then I always capture his behavior. So he, he, he was just like that, and I was close to him. I wanted him to be close to me. Wherever I go, I will took him with. And when we have some family meetings, I'll give him uh, some time to respond. While he was still very, very young, from the age of four, five, six, seven, then I will trust him, I will show him that I trust him, we will discuss big issues. But thereafter, I will just say to him, you must. What, what are you saying? How, do, how What is your perspective? Mm. And then he will come with his idea. And then I will recommend what he's saying. Mm. I will encourage and support what his views. And then trying to build up his confidence that he must trust himself. He must know that he can say, he can say something that can be listened. Somebody can take what he says. So trying to build his self-esteem. And I'll sometimes leave him alone and then so that he can be able to do things. So the mother will sometimes love to do something for him. I'll say, no, 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 leave him, leave him, leave him. Just leave him and he will do it for himself. So trying to build up his confidence and that he must be responsible. So today I'm happy when I see the fruit and the, the, the teachings and all what actually I was trying to impact him. 
I can see he is independent, he is responsible, and uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I will sometimes take him to the gathering, like church meetings, then I'll give him opportunity to respond uh, in the midst of big people. Then I'll say, what are you saying, man? Then we'll come up with his little understanding. So, by so doing, and then he was very, very um, uh, attentive and committed to listen and to try to do exactly. So I think now it's his right time to disperse to bring out what he got while he was still young. Because um, I'm that kind of a, a leader that I do not believe in giving a child milk and honey before time comes. So um, I appreciate your life uh, miracle. And I appreciate all what you are doing for taking care of yourself, for being a responsible young boy, and for uh, uh, being stagnant, being content in, in what you believe. So, reaching 26 years is not a game to play. So, I have never seen anything, any bad colors about you. I have heard nothing from outsiders that people will say, oh, you have got a girlfriend outside there. And then you are doing one, two, three, that we we don't see it, maybe you are hiding it so that we see the good part of you. No, only no. If there was something, I think people will say something, but then we have had nothing up to now and we are looking forward to see you doing better things than that. A better future. We are praying for you, man, and uh, we believe you are now getting there. You are getting there. You are about to achieve your dream. And then uh, I know that when when the goal is next to the the net. It's harder, but then you need to tighten your belt now. You need to be strong than before. Uh, more especially in choosing a life partner. I think it's where giants fail. Many giants is where they really fail. So we are praying for you. For, for, for going through, for succeeding in and having a good positive life partner. So that's the most important part that people are stumbling. So we we'll just hope and wish you all of the best that God may provide you with uh, your correct partner, don't rush, and then be slow, but sure. So thank you all, my family, my mother, my children, for your support to him, for respecting him, for listening to him and uh, for giving him his platform as a brother.
in the house. Thank you all and thank you Russia for leading us. Uh, you are such a wonderful leader in the house and we appreciate you. So keep it up the good work. Amana family, we thank you for coming down and join us in this wonderful uh, occasion today. You made us proud today. I felt very, very great to have all of you back in the house. I appreciate you and you must pass my gratitude to your husband. You say, I thank him so much for releasing you to join us to this event. Your sacrifice to be with us here is great. We thank you, appreciate you. God bless you all. Let's give him a hand. Shine, shine, shine. Shine, shine. So I want to tell you a joke. My brother is such an amazing man. You can see he's good looking. Mambona is So today as I was posting, we were all posting, we were posting about him, this this nice picture that he has that has been trending. So like sometimes I would post him on my statuses and be like, say some words, just caption this. You see girls, because I've got lots of girls following the fix. They'd be like, husband material. Can I have the numbers? And, 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 and. So today, I posted him. Sorry, sister-in-law. <laughs> if you are there, we are just joking. <laughs> I forgot she's not the sister-in-law. <laughs> she, hopefully she won't see this. So she was like, is he taken? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I have a sister-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> so the ladies there, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies there were like, is he taken? Is he no, is he taken? So I was like, but are you taken? And then he said, No, not yet. So it's just it's amazing to have somebody who's who's 26. What I was trying to tell what I, the point I was bringing you in is that this day and age kids 18 years 19 years they are already in a serious relationship they have nothing like they don't even know what the relationship is taking them to so i'm actually very proud that you are now doing your masters and you are still focused on your career you are not rushing into things you know so my dad has said it very well that our prayers as a family is for you to get that godly woman because it's true many people mess up in choosing the right life partner that's what we wish for you my brother you have lived for god you are not everywhere you are you are disciplined boy i mean when a child is when when you are born with if they're in the family the the the, the majority is this gender and you are only one that one child gets to be more spoiled and be the black sheep of the family. But you are you are different. You one one thing that I've learned from you is humbleness. When you were still at school, you used to dress like like, like my dad would feel sorry for you. Every time when we go to conferences, who as the ladies would like to look so good, would have our makeup on. You will dress like this street boy, you know, like you're not part of us. And every time when we leave the house, we'd be like but what is wrong with you? Like, we, we all didn't understand your behavior. And my dad would feel so sorry. He'll bring you this big, big shirt, you know, and try to give you this black, these big blazers, these suits, trying to make you fit in, you know, as the doctors, as the bishop's son. Ah, you just put the suits there and wear your street kid boy. I mean, my dad would try. Every time when we get back home, you would see the shame. He has bought a, a shirt. He wants to see him looking all good. Ah, my brother would just leave the shirt there and wear whatever. And all this time, my dad didn't understand. I don't know if he knows. And all this time, I didn't. I also was like, 
this boy is he untied like i i, I fail to understand because boys his age they used to wear brands they used to look so good you know and he was supposed to take the stage because he's the bishop's son but instead he was so humbled like he doesn't want to be noticed you know those kids who don't want to be noticed until when he finished his degree then now i see a different man like when he's dressed this man he, 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 like you know when somebody transforms <laughs> this man the way he cuts his hair i see this handsome little boy and i'm like what has changed <laughs> like <laughs> the way he cuts his hair you'd be amazed he, he, he changed like drastically changed and i'm like one day i sat down with him and i'm like booty mm. what actually happened yeah. i was so inspired let me let me tell you this i was very inspired <laughs> And then I ask, why were you like that and now he's like uh, being in that platform of of a, being a pastor's child you you are in a, a, a you are you should be an example and as being pastors kids most people like to say mijamala and i have come mijamala and i have come so it's that that you don't want people to think ijamal ijamali have come go ijamali akereke we are using the church's money to look all good to shine or to to outshine other people and they said now I would hustle. Now that I am working, now that I'm done at school, I can work for myself and be able to buy whatever that I want. I'm like, wow. I love the wisdom in him. So you've heard how my dad speak. You guys can agree with me that he got all of that from my dad from childhood. He has been teaching him that. All right, before I can waste all most of the time, let's clap our hands and we welcome this concert to introduce Mr. Party to your fuel. Amen. <laughs> Introduction of the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> to introduce Brother Mathuri, how he knows him and and just to give him the platform to say one to say a few words. <laughs> Shine. <laughs> Okay, good evening everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I've been asked to introduce the speaker, so I don't <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean I just didn't know the way. <laughs> Okay, so. Oh, I know, no, I'm going to clear. I didn't. No, no introduction. It's introduction. Intro, yeah, introduce, I should present. Yeah, you're presenting. Mm, by introduction. By introducing. Mm. Okay, tonight I'm so happy, I'm so excited because we are all celebrating our brother's birthday for the first time together. Yeah, I think it's for the first time. If I'm not mistaken, we always celebrate my big sister's birthday. Every year we celebrate my big sister's birthday, but I've never celebrated my brother's birthday or anybody else. So I believe this is the beginning of all parties and everything. So <laughs> we're all gonna have parties from now on. So I'm so happy about it. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. So, uh, I'm so happy that my brother is here with us tonight and he, he, he has turned 26. 26 is a really big number. Um, if you can really think about it, there's only like four years left for him to reach 30. And four years is like, yeah, it's not far. So, for him to be still like this, it's really a miracle. It's really God's grace over his life. He is an inspiration. People are getting so inspired by his life. His life is a testimony to all young guys out there. When they see him, they see what's the word? They see a role model. When they see him, they see a role model. So, and 
and I also see a role model in him. I feel so inspired and I feel so blessed to have him as my big brother. I feel so safe mm. around him. I know that there's nothing that can happen to me. Or I, I know that there's nothing, literally nothing that can happen to me if I have my brother. A lot of people, a lot of my friends, they don't have brothers at all. Mm. Either they're all girls or they are big sisters or they have mm. younger brothers. Mm. So they always say to me, oh, come, Chris, I wish I was like you. You have a big mm. brother, wow, you are so blessed. And I'm like, yes, I'm so blessed. He's so overprotective. Like, he helps me in every aspect of life, academically and anything else. So I feel so blessed to have him as my big brother. He always asks me how, how, how school work goes. And he always helps me with some of the things I struggle with. So I feel so blessed to have him as my big brother. And I know everybody else can witness this, that he is a good man, not only to us, but to everybody out there. He is helpful, he is handful, he is helpful to use, handful to other people. He is not selfish. So I really thank God for having him as my big brother. So since I was asked to introduce him, we'll all clap hands as to give the opportunity to my brother to tell him how he's feeling and his life experiences. And we want him to like, respond to Asa about the snuff thing because we are all curious we want to know where you got the snuff from <laughs> so as we clap hands and look at him we like him to be terrible terrible as we all clap hands let's welcome Mr. Party on stage <laughs> 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 I greet you all again uh, in the name of 26. <laughs> shine, Magani, shine. shine. Thank you so much. Um, I am so happy, I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So excited for get to celebrate my birthday with my whole family all in one place and all celebrating with me. So I'm very grateful for this moment. It's the first time and it's it's the best time of my life. To me it feels like this is the first time I actually have a birthday because this is the first time it happened. I've never had any celebration of this kind in my life. So I am so grateful uh, to have my family around me, to have my parents around me, to have my father as a support structure and my mother as a supporting structure. That's why I'm so strong. I'm a very strong believer of family. Family is a very big value to me. I value the power of family because I believe that children that come from a stable family do way better than children who don't have both parents at home. And that is a provable statistic, statistics. So I am grateful that God blessed me with two parents who love each other and love us as children. So I think it's very important that I clap hands for my parents because they are great parents. So thank you, Papa, for being a great father and a great example to me. Thank you, Mama, for being a great mother and a great example to us as a family. Mm. We appreciate your love, your care, your guidance. And yeah, all these things that were spoken about me, I cannot take any credit for it. Well, I, I'll take some credit, but 80% of the credit is because I had both of you as my support. And I, I know that full well, and I appreciate that. So yeah, and thanks to my sisters, my siblings, my supporting structure. Thank you so much because you support me, even though sometimes you don't understand most of the things I do. Like now you don't know what I do with my life. But you support me, um, however. And you, you, you keep cheering me on. And you have so much faith and trust in me. And that's what keeps me going. So 
that's why I, I try my best, I do my best so that I can be an example to you guys and just so I can make you proud. I want you to say we have a brother and our brother is is a hard worker, our brother is an achiever. Just because I want you to be inspired and to be proud of me as the only brother that you have. So this is because I love you, my sisters, all of you, I love you so much. I mean, you mean the world to me. You are everything to me. From Sister Russia, Sister Aldrich, Konka, Konkas. I love you all. You are you're so dear. You're very close to my heart. And I thank my parents for actually giving me sisters that I love so much. So thank you so much for you guys. Thank you so much. You are the best. And yeah. So lastly, I'd like to thank myself. <laughs> I I am actually wonderful. I'm amazing. Oh so, yeah. I'm the best. Oh so, yeah. Like I look at myself sometimes and I'm like, sure. Is this really me? Like guys. I get inspired by myself sometimes. And ever since I started this TMP channel, I, I, I get so inspired by watching myself there. Every time a new video comes out, I watch myself and I'm like, wow, was that me? So I'm really, really amazed at myself. Like I'm the best. So I look at myself and I, 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 I get shocked. I'm like, man, all this greatness just for one person. So yeah, I'm 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 actually grateful for having me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, proud of I'm very proud of myself. Oh guys. yeah. And I'm taking this 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 um credit for myself because I put in the work. Yeah. I work hard. Mm. I yeah. study. Mm. And I learn. Mm. One of the best things that I am able to do so well is to learn. This I learn so much. I know a lot of things, guys. And that's because I am inquisitive, so the mom's So yeah, um, as I was thanking myself, uh, <laughs> the devil is trying to disturb my speech. But otherwise, yeah, it's because I am inquisitive. I love knowledge. I love I love wisdom. And yeah. So this is a skill that I hope one day I will be at a position where I'll be an example through what I've achieved to many people and show them that, guys, this is what I've been doing because I am working. I can see the work I'm putting in and I'm working hard. And I mean, at, at, some, at many instances, you would think people are scared of, of actually giving credits to themselves to say that, I'm a man, you're doing well. No one says that. It's, 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 it's almost like you are bragging. You are boasting when you are speaking about yourself. But it's, it's, in, it's an injustice. Jesus Christ, no one said Jesus is the bread of life. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Because he knew himself. He knew the value he had himself. He said, I am the son of God. I am the living word. If you cannot go to the Father through, except through me, no one said, Jesus, you can't, you can't go to the Father except through Jesus. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. He knew himself. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, it's an injustice when we don't give ourselves credit yeah. when it's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we have to know. <laughs> Thank you. So, you have to know when you need to get the credit. Yeah. Because sometimes we get so much depressed. People are not saying this about me. People are not doing this you're waiting for people to give you credit everyone is busy with their business mm -hmm. people don't want to see you grow they don't want to see you achieve they clap hands because hey your success is out there what what, what can they do so at some point it's important to give yourself credit so that's why i am saying i am proud of myself mm -hmm. and i'm proud of the work that i put in and yeah what my sister was saying about me uh, me loving to sleep we we're talking about this thing of um Certain people do certain, they follow a certain route or a certain career that is not really helpful. Maybe someone loves, maybe someone loves drawing. So now they say they can't go to work, they can't go to school and study something else because they love drawing. So they'll go home and just draw every day, knowing that drawing is not giving them money at this moment. And then, the, and then I said it's because of this thing of saying, do what you, do what you love. Yeah. And because people are trying to do what they love, 
they are not successful today. I mean, I love sleeping. So if I was to do what I love, I would sleep every day. But sleeping doesn't give me anything. So I have to work. I do things I don't love. But I know that these are things that are going to be beneficial to me tomorrow. So that was the point that my sister was speaking about. So the issue of snuff, as I close off, <laughs> as comrade conquers, yes. <laughs> <laughs> has uh, asked to know, where was I getting the snuff from? You see, that boy did this. He was sneezing after, giving, after getting that snuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> from school, I used to school in Palawora. So every day from school, we would actually walk through bushes to catch a taxi. So we would go from school, pass through the bushes with my other friends. So we would walk, 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 a very long distance to the taxi rank to catch a taxi. So one day as we were walking through the bushes, by God's grace, we just saw a yellow container. I by God's grace. So a yellow container with that blue, with that blue lid. Ah, uh, what's this? Ah, so I was walking with my crazy friends and naughty friends. Go and then I, I took, I picked up that container. Hey guys, what's this? Then I opened it. Hey, it's snuff. It was still fresh. It was still new. <laughs> Like, ah, this is going to help. It's going to be so helpful. That's cool. <laughs> so I took it. I put it in the bag. So I went home. Next day, I went to school. So during break time, <laughs> during break time, uh, we're playing with those young white boys. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, come test this. <laughs> this is some good stuff. <laughs> some good stuff. All you do is just put it on your nose. <laughs> Sniff it in. <laughs> So that boy, he sniffed in. So because they were watching me to see if I do it, I just sniffed in a little, you see. So when he me thought, ah, this is nice. So, he took it a lot. He took it a lot. He sniffed in a lot of food. I am going to say, I'm going to say, he sniffed in a lot. Ah, the boy. The boy started sneezing. <laughs> hey, he became red. <laughs> <laughs> so we went back to class. Yeah. And we went back to class. This boy is sneezing. Man. He's sneezing. And then he's red. And they asked him, Chip, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like that. <laughs> that boy gave me some things. He <laughs> gave me some good stuff. <laughs> So they came to me and they asked me, hey chief, what did you give him? So I was in trouble. And they found out that it's that yellow stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, so I got punished for that. But yeah, that's where I got the stuff. That's the story. <laughs> so yeah, otherwise, in closing, I'd like to say thank you so much for this day. Thank you for to my parents for preparing this wonderful birthday party. Manana Amana for baking my cake. All the things that we're organized to actually i don't even know who organized this but thank you so much to the whole family for coming together and celebrating my birthday with me and like today the whole day was my day since 12 a.m up until now it was my day everything was about me so it was amazing it was great to celebrate a birthday i felt good i enjoyed it thank you so much and to everyone out there who's watching this I appreciate your support, your love, and being my fans. If you are my fan, if you're not my fan, please be my fan. Because we are going far, you and I. So, yeah, otherwise, thank you so much. And I think this is a good evening and a good night to everyone. Back to the Master of Ceremony. Let's give him some hand of applause. Thank you. Great speech. So we very grateful for this day in dead. Really, it was really a beautiful day. So we will be giving him a chance to cut to cut the cake. So I don't know who's gonna help him with the video because it will be the will be cutting the cake.
Yeah, it's in the Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> as we, he is cutting the cake, maybe we, who's get, we can put the volume for us and we do this song with Tim because we continue to do this song a little bit. And I'll help him. So, you can just put a volume a little bit and then Tim because it will be jamming for you. And then you cut you, you as you cut the cake. And then we do. So we'll be just enjoying the jam and we allow the miracle perspective to, to, so you do your things, brah, we make this fun, you do, Happy birthday, Shori. Happy birthday, Shori. Happy birthday, Booty. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, 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 happy. Happy birthday, Booty. Happy birthday, Shori. Happy birthday, Shori. Happy birthday, Booty. Shori, Shori, happy. Ten the six to you. <laughs> Bap. <laughs> And what are you? I'm going to I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to the house. i no, 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 no. And Dr. Ray was even saying that uh, uh, he trained Woody to be what he is today. So there's one of the so, like my dad was saying, he knew what he was doing and my brother didn't enjoy. Look, this is an education to all parents out there watching this. That you do not have to refuse your child an opportunity to learn because you are worried that they will outshine you. My dad knew that this boy would grow one day. He took him wherever. He would, yeah. he would give him the platform. I remember my brother didn't like it. When we were young, the, 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 group, the group he grew with, they were so powerful. I remember we used to remind him. We used to be like me and my sister. What a man, man. Look at whoever, whoever. They were so powerful in church. Like they were very powerful. Like my brother, he was just down there, down on earth. He was not there. So, but my dad kept giving him the opportunity and that has helped him today to be the strong man that he is, confident, he's able to speak to the world because my dad trained him from childhood, though he didn't enjoy doing that, but it's easy for you to catch. 
and look so cool you know John someone said I'm cool I'm like stage but we grew up in 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 stage my dad gave us that opportunity so may the parents all parents out they learn to say that when you raise your children in in a way that there are some my dad the way my dad raised us in this house it, he didn't get that he didn't even have a good relationship with his father but we have a good great relationship with him we are like friends we can talk anything and anything to him so when you teach your children it, it you are not downgrading yourself you are actually building <laughs> you are actually building go come to over proud of all so thank you people who have watched this you build a family that you want for yourself <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching and happy Hallelujah. so before we finish this we'll ask the mom pastor mark amana to close <laughs> in a word of prayer amen well, thank you for such a lovely day thank you for It flies as best as it possibly can. 